Hi, this is Rambot. Let's create a simple door with a basic animation for closing and opening in Unreal Engine 5.5 and above. First, go to your content drawer and create a new blueprint class. Select actor for this one and name it BP door. Open your door blueprint. Inside we need three components. The first component is a static mesh which we'll name door. Next, click on BP door again to add another static mesh. Name this one frame. Finally, click on BP door once more and add a box collision. For the door, I'll select the door mesh from the starter content in Unreal Engine. For the frame, I'll choose the SM door frame mesh. Once you've added both, click on the door and set its x-axis location to 55. This doesn't look quite right, so let's adjust it to 45. That seems like the best value for this setup. Now, go back to the box collision. In the box extent, set x to 100, y to 50, and z to 100. Next, go into the transform location and add 100 to the z value. This adjustment ensures a neat and functional door blueprint. Finally, go to the event graph, right click on your box collision and add an on begin overlap event, then right click again and add an on end overlap event. We'll define the door's functionality within these two events. In the first event, we need to make sure that it's a third person character, so we cast it. If we don't, it won't work we cast to third person, specifically to the third person character. That's what we need to do at the bottom of the on begin overlap and on end overlap events. Then, we should drag and drop our door static mesh twice, once for opening it and once for closing it. We should set a relative rotation for both, for both of them. Okay. Now what we need to do is split the rotation. As you can see on the screen in the event graph, the first one should be set to 90 and the second one should reset back to zero. For the animation, we need to add a timeline. So add a timeline in the event graph, name the first one, timeline, open door, save it, then open it. Next, add a new track. We name it rotation or rotation rate, whichever you prefer then hold shift and click twice to add two points. Before setting these numbers, we need to adjust the length. I set the length to one. Then, for the first node, the time should be set to zero, and the value should be zero. For the second node, the time should be set to one, and the value should be 90 degrees. Compile and save. To ensure everything is correct, you can use zoom to fit horizontally and vertically, to clearly see the curve. Next, go back to the event graph and connect the node from the third person character to play from start and update for set relative rotation. The rotation rate should be connected to the new rotation. For the closing one, you can simply copy and paste the add timeline. Then once again, connect play from start, update, and the rotation rate to this one. However, you'll need to adjust some of the values. For the second node, the time should remain 1, but the value should be 0. For the first node, set the value to 90. Compile and save, then return to your event graph. That's all we need to do. Save your work, go back to your third person character, and drag and drop the BP door you created from the content drawer, save it, Run the project and see how the door smoothly opens and closes. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a more advanced tutorial on this topic, please let me know in the comments. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support means a lot and helps me create more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.